solutions of impeachment. I will talk to everybody I can about impeachment. I'll travel the world and speak to world leaders and say, you have to indict them for war crimes. And you know what? I'm going to be 98 my granny deep, and I'm going to be holding a picture of my son wherever George Bush goes, and I'm going to say, you killed my son. Vietnamese people were killed. And it's happening again. It's another Vietnam. I know George Bush spent so much time saying no, now he says it is. And if we leave, it's only going to encourage Osama bin Laden because it's like another Vietnam. No. Ending the occupation, making sure everybody in the Middle East is treated fairly, not just a certain peoples in the Middle East, but everybody is treated fairly. Removing our troops, removing the war machine, removing the independent contractors. That's going to go a long way to stopping terrorism all over the world. And I don't want my grandchildren to die in another war. We can never, ever let this happen again, but it's going to keep happening if we let this two-party system we have keep on being corrupt, keep on voting for war, keep on waging the wars. Almost every war in the last hundred years has been started by a Democrat. So, you know, we can't let either party off the hook. And it's going to keep happening if we keep giving our children to them to kill. And another thing is, Jeremy Scahill is right spot on. If they have 180,000 mercenary killers in Iraq, they don't need a military. They have already their paid killers. We have, and when I go to Congress, I will stop that also. We're back again here. My son is dead. Almost 4,000 Americans. Over a million Iraqis this time. We have an anti-war movement now. Hopefully we'll stop the occupation of Iraq sooner than we did Vietnam. But if we don't change into a peace movement and work for an equality of resources and living for everybody in the world, I can guarantee you in 10 to 12 years we'll be in another war killing other children. So if that's one thing you take home from for today, is that we have to make sure that this never ever happens again. And the only way we can do that is calling ourselves peace activists working for peace and not being anti-war activists. And that peace encompasses so much more than just no war. So I just want to say again how much I love being here, how much I love beer and cheese, how much I love all of you, and I'll be signing books over, um, over there in that place there. So.